Hey there guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple days uh, since I've made one of these. You know, just been busy working and stuff like that. All that good, all that fun stuff. Uh, but uh, I thought I would resume my uh, my uh, uh, team collection. And uh, I also I also want to uh, want to thank uh, some of the new subscribers that I've gotten. I'm uh, I'm ten away from 100, which is phenomenal. To, which is just unbelievable to me. I mean, just amazing, just amazing. And I I can't thank you guys enough for that. And you know. Let's keep that going. That'd be uh, it's 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 awesome. Every time I see that subscriber count go up, I'm I'm like, cool. <laughs> I just I get I get kind of giddy and excited, and that's just you know, that's just kind of me. And uh, and uh, you know, so I mean I'm I'm thankful for every one of you. And uh, you know, if anybody new that's just you know you. You're just searching around YouTube, you come across, you know, you come across my channel, come across, you know, one of my videos, a couple of the videos, you watch them. Hopefully you like them. If you like them well enough, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you be a part of it and be a part of the, be a part of the channel. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's a pretty, pretty darn good feeling. I'm only 10 away from 100. And, uh, but... The team, or the the team that I'm up to, I'm up to the, I'm up to the Ottawa Senators. There's the new, the new, uh, the new slash old logo, and uh, I fi I figured, you know, I mean, instead of, uh, you know, wearing a jersey of a different team while I'm going through a, a team collection, you know, I just I threw on one of my band shirts, you know, one of the, one of my one of my favorite bands, you know, these guys, they're. They're a band called Sabaton. They're uh, they're from uh, Sweden, and uh, they're really good, really really good. If you like a lot of, uh, you know, if, if you get you guys are into, you know, whatever kind of music you guys are into. If you guys are into, like, uh, you know, different uh, military battles and stuff, they do a lot. Of, a lot of their songs are are based on like military history from World War One, World War Two, uh all kind all kinds of stuff. This one, this is from uh from their this is the shirt from their album The Great War, which the entire album is based on World War One. It's really, really good. If you guys haven't heard of them, check them out. I don't I don't think you'd be disappointed. But uh but yeah so I figured I'd wear I just I'd wear one of the one of my band shirts for that. While we get into the uh, while we get into the the uh, Ottawa Senators team history, starting off with this bad boy. This is Ottawa's. This was from their very first the very first style they had. Now the other the original Senators jersey that I had that I had it had the it had the uh, the leaf here in in the helmet and it said Ottawa senators in in the circle there that is i believe that's still in our still my store is still in our storage unit that was one of the first jerseys that i really that i that i really got in my collection so i mean it's 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 only like a like a medium or a large i think it's a large but uh but this one you know i, I kind of went and and was able to replace that one with this one from the vintage from the CCM vintage line and I mean it's it's a it's a it's a really nice look I've I really I really enjoy this and I've I've always been a fan of this logo I'm really glad that they went back to this logo this logo is is really cool and I'm really glad they went back to that and you know I do not I do not have the one that they had after this with the white added which is the one thing I think they should have done when they came back, when they went back to this, they should have went back to the one where you had the white here and you had the white stripe here along with the red and black. It's the only thing that I think they should have done. But, uh, but yeah, that's my, uh, that's, that's the, uh, the first, uh, Senator's Jersey. 
And then the Sens decided they were going to do something bold. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily bold or just something completely different. But they decided that they were going to come out with a third jersey. And this is what they came up with. <laughs> they kind of went with a they kind of went with a 3D a 3D style logo. And of course you got the the original logo on the sleeves or on the on the shoulders. It's on uh on both sides. But they decided to go with kind of a 3D look and the the jersey design was interesting. I mean, it, it, it honestly it makes it makes you it make it it looks like you're wearing a sash. You put you're putting on you're putting on a jersey, and it looks like it's got it's got a big sta uh, a big sash that comes that basically comes across basically across your chest and and across you know across your entire upper body. And you know I mean it's you know same on same on the backside. You know I mean it's like this. This big sash of uh, of, bla of black and white in there mixed with red, and the other interesting thing about this one is the eyes. Look at those eyes. They literally look like I mean you know where, wherever you move, they look like they're following you. <laughs> it really does. It looks like they're following you. These are is what some people call them. They call them the Scooby Doo eyes, and. Uh, this would actually become their home jersey. This actually, for a, for a period of time, this would become the Senators' home jersey. Interesting, interesting decision to kind of make that their home jersey. Then they decided they were going to do another. Uh, they were going to do another alternate. The one with the big sash and the Scooby Doo eyes that became the home jersey. They decided let's do another alternate. And this was can and. and this was developed again. The Scooby Doo eyes got the the, the, the Scooby Doo eyes that follow you everywhere. You know the 3D logo, really, really good, really good attempt. I do like. I I, I really I really am a, I I love the 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 shoulder logo. The, the the shoulder patches there. The the Canadian maple leaf with the uh, the clock tower in Ottawa. It just that was a really nice touch. I really, really was a big fan of that. Other thing I was a big fan of that I, you know, and a lot of people would think that's kind of underrated. I like this. This right here, I mean, this is the same type of gold that, you know, it's a, sim it's a very similar type of gold that Vegas uses on their jerseys. You know, it's kind of the, you know, the same, the same material there, same type of material right there on the logo. But... I love how, you know, they, they go, it goes all the way across the bottom and they put it on the sleeve too. Really like that. I really liked how they did that. They made that look, I mean, it, it does, it does. To me, it looks nice. This was a really nice, I thought this actually was a really nice, nice, decent looking third jersey. And of course, you know, it's a coho and, uh, yeah, I think this was a really good, this actually was not definitely not a bad not a bad alternate. The logo, of course, I mean, the three D logos are are cool. Again, though, the eyes, I mean, they you know the Scooby the Scooby Doo eyes, they look like they follow you everywhere. But uh, but yeah, that's what uh, that's what Ottawa made for a uh, made for an alternate jersey for a, a period of time. And then Reebok came in. And then there, then Reebok, Reebok took over the jerseys, took over making the jerseys, and they did a little redesign on the logo. I really did like this logo. This was really cool. It's a lot better than the Scooby Doo eyes. A lot better, a lot better looking, a lot cleaner, I think. And I mean, the design. I I, I don't necessarily know what they were going, what they were trying to go for with with. You know the, the the funky designs on the sleeves. Pittsburgh has this same kind of design in their Reebok style too. A few of the teams went with this it, similar style. I mean, different colors, but similar similar jersey style. You know, you got no stripes on the bottom here, so it kind of makes it look like you're wearing pajamas. But uh, I mean, overall, still not not a you know not not horrible. 
I love the, uh, they kind of went back old school there. They brought the, uh, they brought the O's back, the, the, the O on the shoulder, the O with the, with the colors. Not a bad, no, not, not bad at all. Of course, the, the NHL shield there, but I really did like the logo. The logo was really nice. And I think they made that, I mean, the Scooby-Doo eyes are definitely not there anymore. This looks a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And uh, I do not have the Adidas version of this one. I thought about getting the Adidas version of this one, but I'm like, I was like, well, mm, I, I just, I, I wasn't so sure. And then, and then they were going to do their rebrand and I thought, well, I, I don't really need to get the 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 adidas version of this one this one works just fine but uh but yeah and of course you know this is the same you know that's the it's the bright gold there it's that same gold that vegas you know that vegas uses it's really nice and uh yeah that was the uh that was the the reebok rebrand then they decided we're gonna make a third jersey or it was supposed to be a specialty. I think it was supposed to be a specialty jersey. It was for I think like a, it was I think it was for a heritage classic or whatever. They came back. They went old school. They went old school. They basically brought back the style that the original Ottawa Senators had back in the nineteen twenties, the twenties thirties. Now this one is is a little. Because I think I'm trying to remember where exactly I got this at, but normally on one side of the shoulder here, it's it says in French, you know, basically the name of the team. Now it's supposed to only say French on one side, and then it's supposed to say Ottawa Senators on the other side, but it doesn't. It has the French. Uh, version on both sides which i i don't mind that i really don't but i mean it's this was really cool i would not mind seeing something like this in adidas come out not the not the style that they came out with as uh uh what was it their uh their Centen uh heritage classic or whatever it was the red one with the with the different color o on it this this particular one, I think, would be really cool in an Adidas. It would look really nice. And, I mean, I really like the O. The O is really nice. I love the way that, I love the way that looks. And, of course, you know, you got, it's, it is. It's, 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 it's barber pole. <laughs> it's a barber pole style jersey. But, it's really nice. I mean, it really, it, it flashes back to their, the original Ottawa Senators. And I think a lot of people thought when they, when they were coming back or when they were doing the rebrand, that they were going to go with this, that they were going to go back to the old style, the old, the old, uh, the old O or like the, or, or like the, uh, the O that's on the shoulder of the other Reebok one and figuring maybe they'd put that on the front, you know, and this is, this is what a lot of people thought. And I, I, I even thought that too. I thought, you know, that would be kind of cool if they went back to something like that style, but, uh, but still another, you know, I, I, I really do. I'm, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of this Jersey and yeah, it's just a, it's just a really, it's, it's a it's a really nice look, especially if you like the idea of a barber pole. And then the rebrand, then they do the rebrand. They come back out. They got the old logo. They did a little they they did a little tweak to it. Instead of instead of these being red, they're this they're this kind of dull gold color. And this it's it's more of a and you know as you could probably see in the light. It's, it's more, it's more kind of a dull, it's more of a dull gold than, than what they, nor, than what they had normally had, but it's still, it's still not, it's, it's not bad. It's really not. I really, I'm a fan, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. And again, I do wish 
that they would have came back and brought this back with white and put the white here and put the and put you know a white stripe there one different one difference between this one and the original one was the bottom of the jersey wasn't red they had the red I mean they had it was it was black then they had a red stripe but then they had another um, then they had black below this so I think it would have been interesting if they would have brought white back to this if they'd have put the white here and then you have a white stripe over the red I think that would have looked that would look spectacular that's the only thing that I think they missed on this is they didn't bring back the white and of course they brought back the old the old uh the old shoulder logos again I you know I've, I've always liked those I thought though I always thought those were those were a really nice a really nice little touch that they did and and yeah I was a, a big fan when I when I first when I saw this when I saw that they went back to their old logo and I saw the jerseys I thought I, oh, I have to get that I had to get that immediately and again I I'm a, I, I love this logo I always have it's it's a it's a sweet looking logo. I even like the little you know when they when they changed up the color there. They put the dull gold here, the dull kind of the dull gold here, and you know just just little minor little minor tweaks that they did. And of course they did the same on the shoulder logo. You know it's not red there. It's that dull. It's that dull gold. But it's still a really nice. I mean, still a big 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 fan of this jersey, and. Uh, I'm really glad that they came that they they came back with this. I just wish they would have added some white into this. That's the only thing this thing is missing. Now you want a jersey that should stick around as a third? Here's their reverse retro. Now, like I said in the other one, I mean the reverse retro, this has it's got the black stripe here, but it's red here too. You it kind of it kind of breaks that up a little bit, and that's kind of what the home one needs and i remember when this came out this is i mean this logo on a red background i think is phenomenal this to me needs to stick around this is a perfect third jersey for the ottawa senators hell you could even make this the home one and make the black one your alternate. Either way, I don't think you can go wrong. I really don't think you can go wrong. Whether this is a home jersey or a third jersey, either way, this needs to stick around. I really, really like this jersey. I love the fact that I got this. And of course, this is kind of, you know, now this has, this has the shiny, kind of the shiny, the shiny leaf, the shiny, uh, yeah, man. You know, that has kind of, the, that's got the shiny, the sparkly, the sparkly color there. And of course, you know, they added the red back into this. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this, this to me needs to stick around. This is a, this would be a perfect third jersey. And again, I really, I really kind of hope they, they keep this around. And of course, Leon, like it said, you know, it's the reverse retro, flashing back to 1992, and uh, yeah, I think this is a this is a that's a perfect the per, the perfect third jersey that they could have. Home alternate don't matter. It would look great. This logo looks phenomenal on a red background, and I really kind of hope that they stick with that. I really kind of hope they bring that back. It would be it would be awesome. But uh, yeah, that is my that is my uh, my collection of the Ottawa Senators, and uh, I thank you guys for I thank you guys for being here. I uh, appreciate you guys for uh, you know so for subscribing, and uh, like I said, you know I'm I'm ten away from I'm ten away from a hundred. You know, let's hope I can get let's hope I can get to a hundred fairly soon. I will do a uh, I'll do a special thank you video for when I hit for when I hit a hundred, and uh, and yeah, I'm I'm just I'm I'm happy for everyone that's here, and uh, again, you know, if you're 
if you're just you know coming if you're just coming through and you just happen to and you just happen to come across one of my videos hit like and subscribe i would love to have you here you know i'd like to you know the more the more p the the more more subscribers you get the more the channel can grow and the more you know the more uh uh what's the what's the phrase i'm looking for <laughs> the the more exposure i guess that the that the channel can get across across the uh the youtube the the youtube uh sphere you know the more the more it gets out there and more people can can uh can see it can access it can you know and yeah i'd love i'd 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 love to see just how how big this channel can get and uh you know again i think i think uh i thank you guys for being here again hit uh hit like and subscribe if you're just you know cruising on through and you just happen to come across the vid come across one of my videos you know hit uh hit like and subscribe i'd love to have you here and uh Again, for my subscribers that I that I, the the ninety that I have so far, thank you so much. It's you have no idea how how appreciate how how appreciative I am I am for you guys, and uh, and for any new for anybody new that's coming through, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here, and uh, I will talk to you guys again real soon.